And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Poros. Gonna be our Poro deck with Shadow Isles because we are gonna be having the combo of Atrocity plus Heart of the Fluffed. That's really what our deck's gonna be built around, Heart of the Fluffed and Atrocity. Now it looks like we're only playing two Heart of the Fluffs, but we're playing one Aurora Porealis that um, has a good chance of creating a Heart of the Fluffed for us. And then we are also playing the Poro Herders that can help us summon those. Um, we can help draw Heart of the Fluffs with that. So we have a lot of ways to, to find our Heart of the Fluffs. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to be playing a whole bunch of Poros um, out here. Basically, we use Braum to survive and uh, and then have Braum... Whoops. Not Avalanche. There we go. Have Braum uh, create a Mighty Poro for us as well. And then um, you know slow the game down. Help us find our Poro snacks, get a couple of Poro snacks in here, maybe get our Poros to be like 3-3s three with our Lonely Poro, make it a 3-3, three three, and then it'll uh, give us another one. they will also be a 3-3, three three, and so on. And then Heart of the Fluffed, all of our Poros, make this thing super big, and then Atrocity it to kill them. That's the plan. That's our, our deck. We'll see how it works out. We're going to go play five games over in normal with today being a mean tier monday and we'll see how our poros match up shadow isles poros i i have not played shadow isles with poros before this one is new i like this hint i think this is perfectly fine um, yeah. We could mulligan the Elixir of Iron. Yeah, I'll, I'll just mulligan the Elixir of Iron. But we're going to have turn... You know, we won't do anything turn one or turn two right now. Turn three, we'll have the Mighty Poro. And we can Poro snacks it. Um, turn four, we can play the Herder. And draw another Poro. And we can even uh, sacrifice our Herder with Limps Beyond. They have a good aggressive start. Oh, attack. You have to get me out of here. Especially how I, I still have Elixir of Iron to protect against these things. We get that three damage in, you know, and start racing. The more damage we can get because of atrocity, the better. Now, where did that one run off to? Interesting. Let me change you into something more comfortable. No, you don't have to. So if I play Sentry, yeah, we can play Sentry and Affectionate Poro. I, can see the Devastian I don't want them to know about my Affectionate Poro. Ugh, never laid. I missed you too. A challenge here. Get rid of this thing. Do I save it? Yeah, we saving it. Heart of the Fluffed. So it's five, it'll be seven, nine, um, 13.
I think it'd be a 13-13. Can't block any of those things. Does have Challenger and Overwhelm. So we get to attack. We have our Overwhelm and then Atrocity. Finish the damage out. That's the goal. Take heart. Challenge this thing. Because if this doesn't work, we in trouble. Okay. <laughs> the Boro likes it. That's good news. See if this works. Take heart of the fluff. The fluff of poros. This is them going to fourteen. Exact lethal. So obviously I could I could glimpse beyond and then make it, you know, like so they don't gain life, but this is exact lethal. Ah. Alright. Perfect. I want to do the Poro emote, but like we're winning, and so I don't want to. I don't want them to think that I'm like set, you know. But I want to use my Poro emote, but it's, you know, it's like, it's the Poro. It's the emote you use when you're losing, not whenever you're winning. That may kind of be in bad taste of. I'm winning and crying. All right, this looks like a burn deck. Vi Draven, maybe not super burn. Mulligan the six mana cards and keep the three and the four. I'm not, you yeah, know, we should just keep Poro snacks. We did kill the Poro, but it was to win the game. Anything else? <laughs> Yuck. Facing against this combo a lot recently. Turn have the attack token turn one and have these two out. Yuck, I say. Okay, we got some snacks. I don't like these jury rigs. Whoops, sorry. Hit the mic. I know I could glimpse beyond that, but I want this spell mana for Poro Snacks. Take you 
know, like, I, I want to cast Poros next. No. If I do this next turn, we have six mana. I guess I should. Just having the two glimpses. Certainly going to slow us down. Ooh, I like that card. So next turn with the six mana, I could double snacks. And then... Avalanche after that. I mean, I definitely want to Avalanche after that, if possible. I want my elusive Poro to die. For three, we'll see. No, it's Draven time. All right, so Draven doesn't die to Avalanche, but we'll kill everything else. They still have just as many cards as us with like the four and four, and then they have the two extra ones, the jury rigs. Basically, weren't even cards. Um, we may need to just vengeance Draven. Draven, coming right up. Draven's a pain. I guess they have Vi. Do I need to save this vengeance for Vi? Hmm. Yeah, Culling Strike's a good removal spell for sure. Cast this. You suck. I have the best job. Must be nice. The mom still like a yodel in uniform. Play Brom. Could play Sentry and Poro Herder. This is probably the better play. Yeah, Culling Strike does kill most, you know, a lot of champions. Time for the money makers. Does a great job at that. Okay, so 
just a bunch of flame chompers. Not too bad. They basically have Draven and nothing else right now. Awesome, that's a great Draven answer. Not too bad. We're also not even drawing any of the puff caps. Um, a little surprised they didn't just give us more puff caps before I started drawing all those cards, like in response to the Glimpse Beyond before I drew those three cards, but um, I'm happy about it. Let's get rid of that. Draven out. The bad part about O2s is I can't. I can't get a mighty pour off the O2s. Can't challenge that with Braum either. Where's my vengeance when I need it? I'm definitely glad they didn't just give me these puff caps like a long time ago. They probably should have. Would you believe? How are they not casting Decimate? Like, what are they doing? Fair and super scary. I guess I need to save my vengeance for that thing. If they don't work out not you know playing that vengeance earlier, Captain Farron. Very scary. Obviously we need we needed one more turn. Have our heart of the fluff to take all those other poros. We were about to have a ridiculously large heart of the fluff if we had one more turn, but we didn't have that turn. Okay, we got Frostbite midrange. Come on, we're playing in normals. You don't need to play Frostbite midrange. No. Don't need to play this deck. I mean, I think I just keep Grasp the Undying because of Ash. I think. And I'll wait with the lon Lonely Poro. We don't want it to die or trade or anything as one power. As like, you know, just a 1-1. One, one. Steel. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Some more sentries out here. Some more defense. Another lonely Poro. I have a 
right? Yeah, like this this deck fr this frostbite mid-range deck is too good for normal. That one's not bad. That reckoning wasn't that bad for me. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Our strength is yours. Ooh, I like this Aurora Porealis. I want to have my challenger challenge their glory seeker. Nothing escapes my And of course the plan is to grasp the undying the ash. You are in the right to call yep. themselves Trifarian. And hope it works. Oh, it's cold. Cool. Winter, take you. Who's got the cheap five fives now? Stand and defend. We're hanging in there. All right, we're going to have eight mana next turn. We're hanging in there. Ooh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. All right, found the heart of the fluff. Why does everybody have calling strike for my brawn? That brawn was gonna be so good. Calling strike, you know, like we were gonna kill the Icefield Archer and make another 4 4 Mighty Poro for us. Cool, found another Braum. Uh, we do have the mana here to go Porealis and then also Poro Bound Snacks. No um, I guess I don't want to play Heart of the Fluffed right now. Oh, that card's good too. All these cards so good. Let me just play Braum. Is it the mustache? Who knows? I'll rip that mustache off and wear it. The homestead. Oh, that did not keep them from attacking. Okay, I would say that playing Braum was probably going to keep them from attacking. We got tough, quick attack. I liked that overwhelm. Sometimes I see hard. Good job, Elixir of Iron. 
Braum takes seven. Okay, so let's see. It's kind of awkward how I want to like... If I play this, does it just combine these like so I don't delete it? I don't, I don't obliterate either of these, right? But I kind of want to play these first, of course. We can we can definitely kill them next turn. We can definitely make this twenty power and kill them next turn. For a snack? Um, if they don't have frostbite, right? They do, so basically, if they don't have like harsh harsh winds, we can kill them. But if they do have harsh winds, we lose. If I go for that line. You do have to replace a unit. With Heart of the Fluffed. So you have to replace a unit, and then it gets rid of all of these. Alright, maybe I'll wait on that then. And just play these. Poro Snacks. So I want to wait till after their attack. I want to have... I want to... Have this be like on my attack. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Turn three. Wish I didn't have to replace anything. I wish I could just play this and still have like the three blockers. Why do you have to have harsh winds? I'll lead us to victory. And Ash plus harsh winds is just like cheating. Oh, cool! You have brittle steel also. Well, that's great. Well, that's just great. Totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah, you can't can't respond to any of that. I mean I guess I need so I guess I need to elixir of iron this thing, my hearth guard before keep them from brittle stealing. I guess I need to do that. If I would have gone for the lethal this turn, they did have the harsh winds that would have stopped me. I can I can uh, take nine this turn if I do the best. Like this saves that six damage. This blocks here. I atrocity the four four, kill the five three, but I still take nine, um, and that's the most that I can save. I can't. I, no, I think the I think that frostbite being burst speed makes sense because then you can play like pump spells afterwards. What I think that doesn't really make sense, honestly, is Ash's level up. Like I've played a lot of Ash, and that that level up ability of they just can't block that that honestly I think is too good with with how you are limited of only having the six units, um, being able to just make it so you know they can't block at all, especially when you pair pair with like harsh winds and stuff like that. Like it's not like I like what am I supposed to do about that? Play more units? I can't. You can only have six. Like that, I think that ability needs to go away, needs to change. Like, Ash needs to do something else when she levels up. That is too good. I'll keep one Mighty Poro and a Braum. Move our, our power stuff, like Poro Snacks.
That's that's not Tay, that's not a debate. That is that is absolutely the best deck. It's not a debate. It's not like it is. Just a fact. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. That thing can challenge my mighty Poro anyway. Safeguard our homes. Fish out of water. Okay, how How much do I want to protect Brahm of like you know against like vile feasts and stuff? Do I I think the answer is not too much. I think if they have it, they have that to kill Brahm. I think I would rather try to get this Brahm leveled up, especially where we are than focus on um, being able to protect Brahm at all costs. Which is Maokai is 1 4. At 4 health, I don't get to use Grass the Undying on that thing. Okay, we could kill this Abyssal Eye. Where's our Poro Snacks? Need some snacks. some snacks. Got a snack. Should have probably played those two lonely poros last turn. First we fight. <laughs> this is fun, yes? This is good. I basically just want to get this Omen Hawk out of here. We want to clear up room. I suppose they may be thinking the same thing. So I could... Could atrocity. Alright, they're obliter obliterating Braum. I'm just gonna grasp, draw a couple of cards. We, you know, try to find Heart of the Fluff. We dealt damage, we got our Plunder Poro turned on. We'll see what kind of keywords we can get with the Plunder Poro that can maybe help with Heart of the Fluff. Challenger and Regeneration. Fearsome. Hmm. 
All right, come on, heart of the fluff. Take heart of the fluff. We'll take Aurora Porealis, or we'll take the Poro Herder. That will probably draw us heart of the fluff. To draw on the rest of our Poros. We need one of those. Okay, we don't need many cards. We just need one specific card, Heart of the Flift. Saving the three mana is important because next turn we'll have 12 mana, so we'll have the six for Heart of the Fluff and then also six for Atrocity. If I don't play anything right now. And so life springs anew. Darn. That's not it. So just draw their champions. They got one card left. Is there any way I can make them draw another card? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, now they have Nautilus's champion spell. out if we're not dead. Maybe. That was a lot of sea monsters they put back. They put back eight sea monsters? No, seven. They put back seven sea monsters, right? Because they would have drawn the last card. Together at last. Lucifero. Obviously, I'm dead to their atrocity. I'm not. I'm not even trying to stay alive with their atrocity. Of course.
Definitely need that Aurora Porealis to create a Heart of the Fluffed. Heart of the Fluffed. Dang. That is not it. Good attack even. Really don't. It's not like that was a secret. They knew, knew about that card. Because of Aurora Porealis. Alright, we got our last card. So that did that did kill us of not playing. I mean, yeah, like they, they get to just you know they just have their they just have their Nautilus champion spell up. I am playing an Aurora Porealis instead of the third Heart of the Flopped in that specific game. We needed Heart of the Fluffed, and that wasn't it. Um, so that specific game playing Porealis instead cost me. Now. It cost me the opportunity to try to win. It didn't necessarily cost me the win because they have a lot of mana interaction and it's a very unlikely chance that we would have won, but it cost us that opportunity to try and win. All right, same matchup. That was definitely a sad Poro Evmo moment. Kill the Poros. This should work now. Yeah, I mean, take take heart's not very good. There's a there's a very small sub sub section of games where take heart can um, it can dominate with Braum. It's a very sm small subset of games. Most of the time, it won't be very good. That's just kind of how it is. Set the hooks. Huh. Cool. That works. Follow along, little ones. Heart of the Fluffed. Lucky man. See, this is the card we didn't have last game. was Poro Herder. We drew like all of the other Poros, but not the Poro Herder. So we couldn't... Um, you know, if we would have had one Poro Herder, we, we were going to be drawing Heart of the Fluffed last game. 
All right, so we're at eight out of ten already. For Braum, this is hopefully a level up for Braum. Nope. Yeah, Fury of the North would probably be better than Take Heart. Would you believe he won't fit in my over the long haul? Better to cast the Poro Snacks first and grow these things first before you eat them with Hearted Fluffed. Make a huge overwhelm unit. What do we got? 22 22. Let's go. 22 22 with the last breath. No. Drown. No. That's so sad. You can see the Devastian border from here. Wow. We're just trying to have our 22-22-4-0. Alright, Lonely Poro is a good draw. And so is Mighty Poro. I guess I need to wait one turn, huh? Just attack with those six sixes that I had. Wait till the next, you know, this turn I could have saved two spell mana and I could have set that up. We find another one. That's not it. Find another one. I mean, I could take heart this thing. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense to or not. Maybe just take heart, Braum. Oh, 
I wish I would have played my Avros and Sentry first and been able to draw a card with it dying. I guess we'll be able to block the 7 7 with it. Alright, come on, hard the fluffed. Oh. Why are we drawing our 1 and 2 drops? Just at two. Sure. Kind of feel like, like I don't know what that four-four challenger is supposed to do. I kind of feel like it, just getting rid of Avros and Sentry would have been better for them. Forward, forward. Ready the torches. Another Omen Hawk? <laughs> this turn just drew two Omen Hawks. Heart of the Flift. Is it too late? It's kind of too late. They're at 19. <laughs> it's so close. It's so close. This kills them, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, ah. Uh. <sighs> Crap. Because, all right, so if I... Yeah, because if I if I last breath and kill them, then we get the, this thing, but then this thing dies to the ruination. Mm, if I do the 18 damage to them. So I guess I... Yeah, I guess I have to Atrocity Braum. But then that doesn't... Mm, that doesn't work. No. We're so close. Think hard. Think strong. Yeah, I guess we just save atrocity and just just let this happen. And we get this 4-4 four, four that I guess is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, so we get the 7-7. Seven, seven. We need another heart of the fifth. We were so close. We fight for one frail yard. Yeah, we were one off. I was thinking maybe they wouldn't have another blocker and we could attack on both of these and you know like they block one we atrocity the other. Stand 
That's what I was thinking. But they had another blocker. Our strength is yours. Atrocity has been close to doing something, but it's just done nothing. But yeah, I went for the twenty. I got the twenty-two, twenty-two overwhelm, and they had the Riptide. I could have waited a turn and tried to play around Riptide. We need our other atrocity to go along with this as well. So what's the point of not attacking with these two? Like what what would the downside be of attacking with these? Or like these could be lethal by themselves also. Like right now all I need is one removal spell. To stay alive and then block with all these. But I don't I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't attack with those. Yeah, we were so close. We had the 18, 18, and they were at 19. Ugh. Yeah, if I would have just thrown Braum in front of Nautilus, kept the other six power thing. Okay, so we have um... no, because that I mean that doesn't really play around anything. I don't know. Um... All right, so there we go. There was our our Braum Poro deck. Played against a lot of very good decks and came came up close in the games but they just weren't going our way um you know i wasn't playing at the safest especially that last game with going all in with the heart of the fluff and then the game before we couldn't find a heart of the fluff but of course that is our what our deck is all about is that heart of fluff atrocity pretty sweet when it works all right, so that's Braum Poros. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. Appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's one in four. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching.